Welcome back. I have now owned my Mercedes-Benz 2023 EQS 580 sedan for 28 months. And this month, we're going to talk about the new solid-state batteries Mercedes-Benz has come out with and what that means to current electric vehicles and future electric vehicles and how it might impact you. I'm also going to show you a new thing Mercedes-Benz has added to their EQ lineup, and that is tips, which is a neat little thing that I think you'll appreciate. But first, let's talk about miles. This month, I drove just under 500 miles. And to get that distance, I spent all of $26, all charging at home at my leisure. So it was a great experience, and I had a good month and enjoyed the freedoms that electric vehicle driving provided. Now, on to our first topic. This month, Mercedes announced that it is moving forward with their solid state batteries for electric vehicles. One of the things they said it can do is give a car like this a range of over 600 miles. And that nearly doubles what I'm getting now, depending on how the thing ends up being long term. And that takes me to the good news and the bad news of the advancement. As an admitted early adopter to the Mercedes electric vehicle lineup, and knowing that electric vehicles are a technology vehicle and technology moves forward rapidly, whereas gas engines move forward slowly, I knew that at some point the batteries used to charge my car would become obsolete and new batteries will come out. So when Mercedes announced that their electric vehicle using a solid state battery will get over 600 miles on a charge, and right now, realistically, I'm getting just over 300 miles on a charge in the summertime. That meant that within a number of years, and it won't be the next years too, but it'll be the next number of years, definitely by 2030, cars like mine, and if you've got an electric vehicle out there, cars like yours, will literally be obsolete and the reset retail value will plummet even farther than it's gone today. So on the negative side, this new announcement means that selling this car at some point in time in the future will net me almost nothing. And so how do I take that as an owner of an EV? That just reinforces the topic we've already covered numerous times that I've got a vehicle I love and I'm just going to have to keep it as long as I can so that I get the full value out of it I, I can get. So it just changes once again your standard car buying feature, which you buy a car, you have it for a few years, you trade it in, you get a new one. With the devaluation of the current electric vehicles accelerating, this new trend with the solid state batteries to us simply means we're going to hold on to our cars longer. And I'm okay with that, but it does make you think, and if you haven't got an EV yet, you may want to wait a while until the solid state batteries come out and it may be two or three years. So if you're in an immediate market, get the car you like. I highly recommend getting a used car now as opposed to new because the values will depreciate dramatically. So find when it's depreciated. You can get one of these for half the price or less than I paid for it. So good for you. Take advantage of the opportunities given to you and move forward. On the positive side, and this is what I really want you to focus on. The idea of a solid state battery taking a car 600 miles means they're going to probably end up making the batteries lighter, smaller, and the idea of a hybrid vehicle becomes much more advantageous where you can get a longer distance on the electric side of your car before the gas even has to kick in. So as you move forward, Getting a hybrid vehicle becomes more and more of a positive option. So you can have the extended range that having a gas car gives you and the immediacy of a gas fill up if you're in a hurry, while also enjoying the quiet, smooth, economical transportation that electric vehicle provides. So while it's a potentially scary op option coming up with the solid state battery making the current set of batteries obsolete, the future really is bright, and by 2035, we'll probably be onto a completely different system of propulsion, and that's exciting, and I'm looking forward to it. 
but I do want you to know what Mercedes is doing and how that impacts you now and how that might impact you in the future. Something to think about. My second topic for today is a new app that popped up in the Mercedes-Benz App Store. They have now included tips in the car. So this is a relatively fun feature they've added. If you go into the Mercedes-Benz apps on your screen, scroll over to the end, you'll find tips. Here you'll see an introduction tips and a number of tips on things you can do with the car. So I'm going to select Active Brake Assist. It'll tell you about the system, so you can read more, or you can watch a video. Please note that the content shown in the following video may differ depending on the market and vehicle equipment. Active Brake Assist can help you to minimize the risk of a collision or to reduce the effects of such a collision. It can detect vehicles, cyclists, and pedestrians, and depending on the situation, reacts with warnings or autonomous braking. Active Brake Assist is automatically activated when the vehicle is switched on. If there are no restrictions, it is fully available after a short period. In the multimedia system under Settings, Assistance, Collision Avoidance, you can switch off Active Brake Assist. However, this is not recommended. Select the gear wheel symbol next to Active Brake Assist to set the point at which a warning or brake application occurs to early, medium, or late. Active Brake Assist warns you about the risk of collision by issuing a warning tone as well as with a distance warning warning lamp in the driver's display. If you do not react to the warning, the vehicle may brake autonomously in critical situations. If you apply the brakes yourself in critical situations or depress the brake during autonomous braking, the system can provide braking assistance appropriate to the situation. The brake pressure increases up to maximum full stop braking if necessary. There you go, there's your video. And, and that's what these are all like. Now the fun thing is the app on your phone also has a link to how-to videos. And that will take you to a YouTube channel that has a large volume of helpful tips, but they're presented in a different way than what is in the car. So I thought that was neat. And to show you the settings I've chosen for my car, the settings, assistance, collision avoidance, active brake assist, and I like the warning early. That gives me the best chance to slow down at a gradual pace. So that is Mercedes' new tips feature in the car. I think it's a neat, helpful thing, especially for those who are new to these cars, and I'm glad they did that. And that's it. Another month has come and gone. I talked to you today about two things Mercedes is doing towards its electric vehicles in providing a whole new means of propulsion in the solid state batteries and providing tips in the car for those of you who want to see what their recommendations are and how they think you can better employ your car's features. So until next month, you make it a great day.